Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell from InMotion and I want to teach you how to change the background of a picture. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure you are standing in front of a green or blue screen as I am doing right now. I actually have a green screen studio in my house but I decided to move my green sheet out here to the garage. So if you don't have a place or thinking you don't have a wall, just use your garage like I'm doing. This is the first step in changing the background of a picture. So next I'm going to show you how to use paint.net to change the background once you do this first step. So take a picture. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to google.com, type in paint.net download. That's going to take you to the paint.net download site, the main one. You need to go ahead and download the software. It's free. Unzip it, extract your files so it becomes part of your program files. You're also going to need a paint.net chroma key plugin. Go ahead and download that. You have several options. The one that I use is Softpedia. It takes you to a site like this and click download. You want to put that plugin into the effects folder of your paint.net program file. So you're not sure how to do that. Follow my path and under program files is where you'll find paint.net. You want to add that chroma key plugin you just downloaded to this folder right here called effects. Here are the steps to get your images in paint.net. If you need to go ahead and hit pause. I'm not going to read them but when you watch this later you can hit pause and you'll see these steps. This is the steps. These are the steps to get images in paint.net and these are the steps to get ready to chroma key. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go straight to paint.net. Okay, so I'm on the desktop. I'm going to click on paint.net and following your instructions after you open that, make sure the layers dialog box is showing. If it's not, go ahead and go to windows and you can click on layers or you can use the shortcut key F7. But we're definitely going to need that though we can push it off to the right. Next we're going to drag the green screen image onto the canvas. So the one I'm going to use for this example is right here. Going to click add layer and that makes the green screen object show up. As you can see I'm behind a green sheet. For your reference make sure your sheet is a little bit neater and straighter than mine and also you want to make sure that it's well lit. Next you're going to add the image, the background image onto the canvas. Click add layer. Okay then for tools you just want to make sure your move selected pixels tool is selected because you're going to get a hand here and you're going to make sure you cover up the green screen image like that. Now the next step is to make sure the green screen image though sits on top. So I'm going to click on the green screen image and I'm going to use the move layer up function and move it up so you can see it's on the top. Alright now let's get some chroma key going. Go to effects, photo and chroma key and as you can see it removes the green background replaces it with the one that I've chosen. Only my teeth are blue and we don't want that so we're going to use the chroma key plugin to make some adjustments. In fact I'm going to change the lower bound a little bit here and just to the right until I get rid of the blue teeth and I'll soften the boundary just a teeny bit until I have something that I like. Uh, just to let you know you can play around with this chroma key here as you move this to the left you can see I go away, move it to the right, the background goes away so you can play around with it until you get it just where you want it and of course you can always go back to the default if you get lost in your changes and change it back and when you finish like everything say OK Alrighty, and you can always save this particular file and you are good to go. In fact, I'll just hit file, save as, and give it a name. Let's just call it Cool Mom. And now I have saving as, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG and say OK. And let's see where I want to save it on my desktop. There we go. And I'll say save and OK. And when it comes saving this format requires the image is first flattened which reduces it to a single. Go ahead and flatten it. 
and you've got a good save and you've got a new picture right here in the background and in fact you can see if I reduce this there's the picture that we just created in paint.net I hope this helps thanks for watching